Our book for the Tom Hartman Book Club today is A Nation Forged by Crisis, A New American History by Jay Sexton. And I'm reading from the introduction. This is page nine. The quest for national security and global power, America's shifting position in the international economy, and fluctuations in immigration have made the United States the nation that it is today. Americans' foreign relations have been conditioned in, ha, have conditioned, excuse me, its history not only in their cumulative effects over the long haul, but also as a result of their volatility. In periods of crisis, America's position in the world has lurched in unexpected directions. For as inexorable as the rise of the United States appears in retrospect, there have been contingent moments in which the very existence of our nation was up for grabs. This is the essence of crisis. The world turned upside down. The known replaced by the unknown. Panic reigning as people struggle to maintain their balance and shifts in the very ground beneath their feet. It came with a speed and ferocity that left men dazed, New York Times correspondent Elliot Bell wrote of Wall Street's catastrophic collapse in October of 1929. Quote, the market seemed like an insensate thing that was wreaking a wild and pitiless revenge upon those who thought to master it, end quote. Crises are contagious, spreading like viruses from one realm to another. It's not without reason that the word crisis was associated with medical conditions and health scares in the 19th century. Each of the periods under consideration in this book were less a singular crisis than a set of interlinked crises. A political crisis could trigger an economic panic, which in turn could intensify social conflict, and so on. As these pandemics spread through the body politic, crisis itself was normalized, becoming an almost accepted characteristic of an age. Just as foreign crises have spread to the United States, domestic ones have spilled across its borders, unsettling foreign countries and peoples, as well as reconfiguring America's connections to the world. Consider the fateful winter of secession that followed the 1860 election of Abraham Lincoln. The crisis over slavery that divided the Union into warring sections that led to a series of sharp reversals in America's position in the global system. The foreign capital that had rushed into the roaring American economy in the preceding decades suddenly began to flee. Indeed, more capital left the United States in 1860 to 1862 than came into it. Also a once-in-a-century occurrence. One of the world's most valuable commodities and America's largest export, southern cotton, was confined to the ports of the Confederacy as a result of Richmond's ill-fated diplomatic strategy, leading to unemployment and social unrest in the British textile town of Lancashire. The most unexpected reversal was how the national security that, that the United States had attained after the war against Mexico in the 1840s was suddenly imperiled with European powers encroaching once again upon the Western Hemisphere. Meanwhile, the Confederate emissaries across the Atlantic in search of alliance, were in search of alliance with Britain. Our country, Secretary of State William Seward lamented in early 1861, after having expelled all European powers from the continent, now threatened to relapse into an aggravated, aggravated form of its colonial experience, and like India, Turkey, China, and Italy, become the theater of transatlantic intervention and rapacity. A wider view of American history that looks beyond the nation's borders brings into focus not only the migration patterns, economic flows, and international rivalries that have connected the United States to the world, but also those rare moments in which the very in existence of the nation was in question. Perhaps none was more pregnant with implications than the autumn of 1877, when the fate of the Patriots' bid for independence hung in the balance. Having proclaimed their independence to the world the previous 4th of July, their cause had stalled on the battlefield and in the diplomatic courts of the old world. I think the game is pretty near up, Washington privately confessed at year's end. To accomplish their independence is not quite so easy as to declare it, the British philosopher Jeremy, Jeremy Bentham haughtily remarked. But then a series of events forever changed the course of modern history. The stunning patriot victory at the Battle of Saratoga in October, the drafting of the Articles of Confederation in November that for all its limitations further demonstrated the political resolve of the Americans. And most of all, the alliance signed with France in February 1778, which provided the Patriots with the resources, military assistance, and naval power that ultimately tipped the scales in their favor. There are comparable Saratoga moments in other crises in U.S. history, as we shall see. These contingent moments played out in their own distinctive ways but are joined by a common denominator that has been curiously forgotten in our age of U.S. global power. Foreign states and people have played decisive roles in the critical moments 
of American history. As we make our way through our own era of global instability, in an unprecedentedly interconnected world, there's perhaps no more important lesson from the past to keep in mind. Crisis may beget crisis, Franklin Roosevelt said, as his administration transitioned from battling the Great Depression to entering the Second World War. But the progress underneath does not wholly halt. It does go forward, end quote. Like so many of Roosevelt's public statements, this one reveals a truth even as it conceals others. The United States came out on the other side of its great, greatest crises as a stronger and more efficiently organized nation, as Roosevelt suggested. The process of mobilizing resources to counter threats catalyzed innovations in political economy, such as the creation of a national financial system during the Civil War, and the economic reforms of the New Deal. The, the book is A Nation Forged by Crisis by Jay Sexton.